Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. My name is Dipti Shah, and welcome to my channel, Artistry. As I just introduced, today we are talking to the very talented, very creative, and very talkative Dhara Shet. Hi, Dhara. <laughs> welcome to my Hi, show. Dipti. Thank Hi. you so much for having me on your show. And it's been a pleasure knowing you in my journey of Hong Kong. <laughs> Same here. And I must say, you are one of my favorite people in Hong Kong. And oh that is true for so many people. I don't know. Oh, my God. I'm <laughs> really privileged. And thank you so much for your kind words. My pleasure. So, Dara, let's start with Mumbai. How was sure. it growing up in Bombay? So, I've completely been a Bombay girl. And I wasn't very sure of even leaving Bombay and coming to Hong Kong when that opportunity came. My studies, my education, my friends, family... Uh, whatever I did in my professional life has all been Bombay. So yeah, and the food and my pav bhaji, my bhel, safe puri. Oh my God, I am um, a big fan of Bombay. So yeah, it's been a great uh, pleasure. I mean, it's a great journey uh, from Bombay and the transition from Bombay to Hong Kong has also been a great journey. All right. So what did you study, Dhara? So I have um, just finished my commerce and my master's in commerce. So I did my commerce in HR and uh, uh, my M MCOM in Sydney. And then after that, I've always been into the creative profession. So I did my jewelry designer with uh, the designer Gautam Banerjee. And uh, it was almost like a one and a half year course. And after that, I just started working with JewelX International Private Limited. And it's been like 10 years where I started my journey as a jewelry designer to a product development head. So that journey of a decade has been amazing. And I've learned so much in that process. It's unbelievable. So Dhara, you were completely established and I had a wonderful job. You had a big team, as you told me. How was it like leaving all of that and starting a new journey in Hong Kong? Um, honestly, um, I took it as a challenge. And I totally, I mean, I definitely didn't uh, want to leave what I was doing, but somewhere um, probably it's just written, right? That uh, this is the time for it and it is over now. It's the next step of your life. And it totally fell into place. Um, there was a time when I wanted to start my own venture. So I told my boss that, you know, I need to go and I think I'll have to quit and, you know, start my own venture myself. And within six months, uh, you know, this, this entire thing of Hong Kong just came up where he just told me that, you know, I'm going to leave uh, Bombay and then, you know, this is an opportunity. So do we want to really take this? And I was like, okay, fine, let's explore. Though I was he hesitant in the start that uh, how it's going to be, it's a new place, it's a new country. I've never been, you know, I've never had my exp exposure, though I've traveled for work, but I've never lived, lived away from my family and friends. So um, it just came and um, I just went along. Uh, came here to Hong Kong one month was like I was like oh have I taken the right decision you know um, leaving my sister who's my closest and my best friend and I've never been away from her and my parents of course but you know at the same time when you have your friend and your best friend and we've always done things together even Casido started with her uh, which we will talk about it later but uh, I was like okay fine this is where it has to go and uh, you know Hong Kong journey just started okay so yeah. coming to Casido, what is the story behind it and how did it start? Uh, very interesting, actually. And uh, so I was roaming about, uh, okay, so there's a place, Zaveri Bazaar, which is actually uh, a jewelry uh, hub. Uh, there are a lot of artisans and craft person. And I was just roaming around there, just, uh, you know, somebody had spoken to me about some findings and I was like, okay, let me take a market research. So I went there and I saw these beautiful agates and raw materials. And I was like, I've never... Um, imagine jewelry with that because I was a fine jewelry designer so it's always been diamond and gold for me and gemstones which were precious but like you know these agates with raw stones and uh, different um, colors and colors is something which kind of uh, inspires me and gets me excited every time I see any form of colors and I was like you know what why can't uh, I start working with uh, these and form a part of jewelry and you know make it into a form of jewelry so maybe necklaces or earrings and apparently uh, I saw this one uh, uh, jeweler and I asked him that, do you have a craft person? 
and he said yes i can recommend you which was i'm still grateful to him that because of him my journey had actually started because if he didn't give me that craft person's name i probably didn't know how to begin um you know this entire thing which i've been doing and creating stuff so i got um my grandfather his name is ramji and that's how my journey in bombay with casido had started my sister had already created this name because she's doing bags and she's a commercial artist and then i thought you know let me just go ahead with that uh in the form of jewelry so you know casido bags and then casido jewelry so when i came to hong kong it became casido.hk so that's how it just began like from fine jewelry designer to coming to fashion fusion fun jewelry became my passion correct correct and so um, what is yeah. the word casido mean casido is actually derives uh, from the word kashida which is the oldest form of embroidery in india so that's how it just came and you know embroidery it's all handcrafted you know the bags which we do are handcrafted the jewelry what we do is handcrafted so i i thought it so uh, would have been meaningful to go with the same name and that's what where my sister and actually her friends they had planned this name and i thought the meaning was just perfect and it just went along uh, dhara i've always been aware that with your brand do people only see the pieces you know the crafted pieces you are always very supportive to artisans in india that's right can you um, tell us I, more about this sure i actually thought that i am quite privileged to be on an international platform and coming here i actually of course it was my passion of designing something which i like and then eventually wanted to make sure that my clients my patrons would also enjoy what i create so that gives me a sparkle and that gives me the joy more than selling the piece it was more about appreciating that piece which i have created a that was my focus of actually being a part of casido and starting it secondly i definitely want uh, the people like the artists from india to get more privileges and to get their work displayed on an international platform and if i believe that uh, if my clients uh, like my work or whatever i'm curating and if i'm able to help them in some way i guess uh, that's where um, you know the brand comes into picture so eventually i want to really give them the benefit of displaying their artwork which is just beautiful and i think uh, not many people appreciate these different techniques and art uh, you know the the formations of art in different areas um which a lot of people would admire here except for indians there would be a lot of other people who would ad- admire their artwork so this is the whole idea and motive behind my brand as well correct and that is commendable uh dhara you're also working with some ngos uh, i believe could you yes mention them i am actually helping and basically it just came out it just happened to be like uh maybe it was just destined you know so friend of mine tagged me in uh, on a post in on facebook and uh, there were this uh, people uh, women from pala guta pale village which is in southern part of india uh, they were making cloth bags and they were really looking for um, getting some business on an international platform and somehow a friend of mine a very dear friend of mine she tagged me and since then i got in touch with aparna krishnan who takes care of these uh, women in uh, pala guta pale and uh, who are the bread earners because of the drought affected village and uh, i got in touch with aparna krishnan and uh, that's how my journey with the branding and packaging of casido uh, started with them and i just i haven't met them it's been 3 and a half years 3 and a half odd years and uh, every time i was like oh my god i have to come and meet all of them who've been working on my packaging and uh, it's just been a delight to just see them uh, feel so happy when i send them pictures with any of my uh, just uh, any of my patrons and they feel so ha- excited that where the packaging from from a southern part of india is going somewhere else and that's where i feel excited about so yeah so that's been my contribution towards whatever little bit i could do right and you also want to take uh, casido and make it into an ngo i believe uh yes uh, the whole plan is to go not not for profit and um, by god's grace you know we are fine you know everything is okay and i just thought that uh, wherever possible um, you know because i believe that i can do a little better marketing and uh, being on an international platform it will be easier for me to uh, help uh, 
people who really need that uh, platform and why not uh, you know get them here and at the same time i feel that um, somewhere or the other there has to be some sort of contribution from my end and my sister's side to the community so we definitely are working hard towards that somewhere or the other yes and we all in our own little way in whichever way we can you know come together and save these artists and the art basically that is sure. dying back in india uh, we all have an amazing platform and you are making such a good use of it and it's very inspiring that a a thought you know we could all give some time to and in fact there's one more person who inspires me is yosha um from me miraki um you know in fact i was so i've always been telling her this that how you have brought in indian artists on an international platform like this and uh, you know we are, you know whatever i'm doing is so little but you know at the same time somewhere we need to start correct so there are how how long has it been uh, with you for the casido journey how many years with the so business? it's been at, uh, around 5 five, five and a half years or to start the brand uh, but again like in the start it was very very uh, limited because you know meera was born here and i was a stay at home mom and i wanted to focus on my other passions as well as at the same time like my art and you know just generally just to keep myself because you know with that 10 years of rigorous lifestyle with a professional lifestyle i thought hong kong could give me a little better open uh, you know a space to explore what i can do so i thought i explored at the same time along with my work uh, but it's been last 3 3 and a half years where i have been more active when it comes to social media it comes to e-commerce and you know to go do more pop ups so i guess it's been around here yeah, around 3 3 and a half years where i'm doing it much more and uh, where i have created um, and or met actually more and more customers and my clients who have actually become my friends as well along the journey correct so that brings me uh, to the next question which is you are a designer basically at heart yes. you're a creator right now yes. just creating is not enough in today's world you need to bring it out to the people and to bring it out to the people you need marketing and for marketing you need social media you do, just don't market yourself you market so many things together so many qualities of you you yourself become the brand that you are promoting right yes. and i find you always very active on social media i find you very very uh, you know not frustrated with the <laughs> idea of going live on facebook or insta how do you do this because there are a lot of people and i would include myself before i started this channel who feels very shy and doesn't want to come out into the open not that i can't but <sighs> yeah very uncomfortable so i just believe that first of all believe in yourself and at the same time see if you appreciate something or a product it doesn't need to be mine um you know why not go and tell the world about that product because somewhere or the other you know facebook and social media are the other life of today right like instagram and facebook where people are active so active and they need to know more and more things about something new or a new brand or someone who is really doing with service and i totally i never feel ashamed of talking my experiences and these are genuine experiences if i have to share for anyone else as far as my brand is concerned i am so excited just creating a product that i find my every piece of my uh, creation is my own child and my own baby so if i have to love my baby i have to make sure the others also love my child so it is you know yeah i don't feel ashamed of it and i was like okay fine no i'm never scared of any criticism in fact i would love it because it helps me grow as a person it helps me it gives me so much confidence and at the same time um you know i can always work harder and harder though we have limited resources somewhere you know being here i do have i do have those challenges of having limited resources somewhere or the other but even in those how you can make it the best you know that's something which i think it's not that difficult to learn you have to just take baby baby steps but be confident about what you are really doing and i guess just brag you have just this one life you know just brag about what you can really do because every individual is so talented and every feel like you know baker k i mean you know either it's baker or artist or uh, acting anything per se it could be also managing a house and that's 
or talent because not everyone can do that planning organizing so i just feel every individual are so special and never feel i mean you know my social media is something which i'm never afraid of because i don't care i want to i want to actually i want to have fun i want to uh, be weird it is what you believe in so just be there and tell people what you actually feel about today like today i'm feeling really happy probably i will just do a happy dance and i'll post it you know but yes like uh, i'm still not that savvy when it comes to social media like going immediately live and being face to face i think this is one of my first interviews like this dipti because i'm quite shy like facing a camera like this and talking about myself because i don't like doing that correct correct it's like i think the basic thing is if you made a beautiful thing if you've created something beautiful just go out and show your work that's it i mean yeah, exactly you know, and i feel that even if you are a dancer don't restrict yourself you want people to know that you dance so beautifully just post it if you're a singer just do it and i guess and of course like it's not necessary everything you need to talk and it's it's public but at the same time i think it just develops your confidence that no you can face a crowd so i guess yes. that's important so the social media yeah. game is probably one post at a time <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's true one post at a time but that's how i did acting you know i never so again uh, what i meant to say is that acting was something so different and something so new to me and had it not been teak up i wouldn't have been able to explore this uh, uh side of me that yes i can or probably can get of course better but at least i could face the theater which is so tough and it was so tough for the first year when i did it and i was like okay this is not going to happen i don't know how i'm going to memorize my dialogues and you know if i make one mistake if i like fumble if i forget what's going to happen next but it has definitely taught me that no if there is a will you can always do it correct so you are not just a designer you are an actor you've been a dancer <laughs> uh you're a painter if i'm not wrong anything else you write to that poems <laughs> oh you you write poems as well you are always creating how do you do that so just you know it's just that uh, my mind is actually continuous continuously working i probably even you may have realized while we are discussing that you know there's so much of me to tell you but you know somewhere we need to go slow and uh, i always believe that uh, yes definitely be in the moment but at the same time i need to control myself because i want to do everything and i know there's not much time left and i i just can't waste time so i can't sit idle which is also a problem but at the same time i'm always creating something or i'm always doing something which actually kind of distresses me in some way like dancing my art you know i kind of switch off and i just focus on what i really want to do yes um uh, work can get a little bit stressful because you know you are following up with the clients you're making sure your pieces are okay if there is some breakages and we have to deal with it but that is one side of the story and you know at the same time you know how to how to be um able to solve these issues rather than getting like super tensed about it so i don't know i just always find time somewhere or the other <laughs> but my mind is always active so that is one one probably a big challenge you know for me <laughs> it might be like that you're full of energy and you know this burst that you get of excitement and passion and creativity but when you sit down and do a painting you have 100% focus 100% dedication dhara how do you yeah. combine all these qualities of yours it is so inspiring so uh, i know that i have the two hours if i've removed in that week for my painting uh that two hours i make sure that the phone is switched off as in in silent mode it's just that you know i will only take uh, virginia is call or meera's or meher's or some family if it's an urgency but apart from that i will switch off from all the whatsapp messages which i really need to because it's become like an addiction right like a message comes and you need to reply back and you know all of that which is also not required but in your head it's always like no i need to get back to this person immediately but when it comes to dancing my singing which i'm actually doing now i had done it a little bit later but then it was a big stop and then i'm doing now i need to just switch for that one hour one and a half hours and just focus on what i'm doing at that moment and after that okay the next thing follows 
so but because painting definitely needs a lot of time and creation and where you want to do what so i can't be switching off here and there so yeah i'm actually learning quite a lot that how you can plan your time well so yeah i don't see a lot of shows i don't read books i'm not a reader um yes i am available for friends family whoever wants me at that time but um, again i always kind of find time for my passions and i just feel this is something which i really want to do and i want to progress further and every stage is a learning stage for me so i believe that i'm learning at every stage so if i don't give that time and dedication to it then i don't think i'm going to learn better fabulous zara yeah. fabulous one thing that you're aware of your time and second thing you know it how to use it wisely that's so a great thing to tell you is that if i have to commit on something i'll make sure it is done so i will not otherwise tell anyone otherwise i say no i can't do it correct and sometimes like <laughs> i i do say no for a lot of coffees a lot of lunches a lot of gatherings but i know my friends would understand and i think i know where i really want to prioritize myself in my these learnings so dhara tell me in this journey of life and starting and running casido what has been your top challenge or challenges um so coming from bombay to hong kong i had no idea that i didn't know many people i just knew a couple of friends over here and i was still so passionate to start with my work you know and i was like why not so i had some few of my creations which i had got to uh, hong kong and um, you know it just worked you know i was in belchers and uh, there was these supportive women and they gave me that you know that they really liked my creations and that's how i kind of felt confident that yes this is, there is a market for this and why not start this but again um, as you spoke speak about challenges i didn't have resources at that time my my artisan was in india and i was like oh you know what i'm here how i'm going to fa- find someone to do my work and all of that so i did gather that so definitely minimum resources and again a complete new audience so i really didn't know whether this would work how far i can take this is it going to be just out of passion and you know just amongst friends and families because a business cannot just be amongst friends and family it has to be a word of mouth and go further and yeah it was a massive challenge that okay we here can i do this this is hong kong and i have no idea i don't know anyone over here but somewhere or the other i was so confident that no it will work and let's go slow step by step and let's get that little um, you know uh, people seeing my products so i think more importantly in the start few years it was more important for people to see what i do rather than me selling a product so that was one more challenge and the third as you say that i i am my own challenge because it is so difficult to control me so i have to control myself that focus focus in this thing because i want to do everything so that was the biggest challenge that how i have to get my mind stable so yes once that happened then i think things moved on and and in track as i want to do my painting i want to do my dancing i want to do all my passions which i couldn't do it while i was in a corporate job so i thought uh, hong kong gave me a great opportunity to like you know live my passions you being so humble and uh, so nice of you to share this on a public platform because believe it or not we all face challenges in one way or another whether it is from the outside or from within us and when you say this it validates all of us so what's your personal motto in life um it's live love and laugh which uh, you know i kind of always write uh, uh with my ads or my flyers or my advertisements for my brand or anything otherwise uh it's always that i believe that we have this one life so live and let everyone live just don't get judgmental about every small things i guess every individual has a right or we need to know the back end story before making a judgment for that someone so just live your way like live yourself the way you want to live first love is yes show love to people because you'll always get love back and i totally believe in way of talking your tones your way of discussing matters there are certain ways i always believe um you know a simple thank you or thank you so much there's so much difference in that um also a yes and yes please you know there are certain ways i really want everyone to talk like that where because tones like the tones of people actually creates problems you may not mean it but others may take it in a very deceptive way um so i totally feel that love people love the way you would love everyone else in your family love people like that 
and love. Yes, love is the biggest medicine. And I guess once you have this laughter in your life, I guess all your stresses are completely forgotten. So that is one thing I totally believe in. So that's why live, love, love. That give as much love as you can. Live the way you want to live. That's where your confidence comes. Show to the world what you can do and laugh all the time because that's something which is so beautiful. And looking at someone laugh, you yourself will feel so happy. So I guess that's so important. So this is where it comes from. This is such a beautiful thought and such a beautiful, wise way to live, right? After all, we're all equal. We're the same thing in the universe. Exactly. And I always believe that each and every person is a celebrity. And uh, I've always believed in that. And that's why you can admire everyone's jobs. And you are not going to judge anyone of what they are doing and what they are not. So I just feel that thing that everyone here is a celebrity because we are all have the same blood we all breathe the same air and i i don't know why we have this comparisons and yeah just give love that's it nara you're such a beautiful person and so inspiring what you. or you, who so has influenced you in life great question i feel i get influenced by a lot of people but uh, more importantly that every individual who thinks of someone else that every individual that helps someone else that every individual never put someone else down is all these kind of uh, attributes which actually influence me as a person uh, i mean influence me like every those people who i meet and that are my inspirations because i so believe in that i always always believe that everyone in life should appreciate each other and all those individual i just get inspired with a apart from my family friends my sister everyone but at the same time it's everyone there out there who has actually brought me something or some element which actually shows me how beautiful that person is such a beautiful thought <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen this is dhara shade for you not just in casido but in life dhara has a lot of colors to share make sure you visit her website which i would be linking down below and if you are in hong kong or abroad i think she ships abroad as well yes. please do check out her materials her products they are not just her products but they are supporting a lot of people behind working for her so please have a look thank you so much for watching this episode thank you dhara thank you so much thank for being on so my much. show Thank you so much, Dipti. It's been a privilege to be here, and such a pleasure to talk to you. I just love your questions because it so connects to me and my soul. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a pleasure here as well. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. 